pinch point. But look, to me, it's not controversial. Joe Biden admitted in 2014 that U.S. allies were essentially arming al-Qaeda and Nusra. He said that at Harvard University. He later apologized for it because it offended Turkey and Saudi Arabia and Qatar, but it it was true, I think. And the U.S. knew about well, let's this. Let's draw a distinction, Aaron. Um, I was talking about the American timber sycamore. Program. Right, I got that. But, but even, uh, if yeah. you want to talk about the Turks, uh, the Turks did play dirty. They played very dirty. And frankly, we called them out on. I did personally on three different occasions uh, with the Turks in 2013. And once with the head of Turkish military intelligence, Hakan Fidan. And I said, uh, you are allowing people over the border uh, stuff is making their way to groups that are killing, fighting and killing the people we're trying to help that will back a negotiated settlement and it has to stop. The Turkish response, frankly, uh, was disingenuous at best. Uh, and the Turks would routinely say to us, well, if you give us the names of the people that you don't want to cross, we'll put a lookout on them. And I remember saying to them, and I saw senior State Department officials say this to them, People like Wendy Sherman and Bill Burns have died in the Obama State Department. Uh, this is not about giving you a couple of names. This is about you shutting down the border to stop extremists moving back and forth. Um, I'd be very frank with you, Aaron. Uh, the Turks in private, Turkish friends of mine in the Turkish government said, you know, we're doing it because they're the best fighters. They're the most dedicated. And they're the ones that are going to turn around uh, the fight against Bashar al-Assad and win. And I remember saying to him on one occasion, I said, you guys are playing with snakes, poisonous snakes, and they will come back and bite you. I said, you don't know what you're dealing with. We dealt with these same people in Iraq, and they're deadly. And uh, <laughs> one very self-assured Turk said to me, after we get what we need against Assad, we will kill them ourselves. I thought, wow, that's a really Ottoman Turk mentality, but you don't know what you're dealing with.